Hi, welcome to this tutorial. We have developed Arch Merged GNOME. So GNOME is a different desktop environment and I'm gonna make here a little copy paste, a clone. So I've already installed Arch Merge 6.4.1, bare installation, no desktop on it. So that's why I'm gonna clone it. So everything is prepared to put anything on there. So this is the standard installation of Arch Merge, and that is the standard installation of Arch Merged. We have everything available on our GitHub. You know the drill, I think, by now. Gip, git, hub, dot com, slash, Arch Merge Linux, slash, something. You want any of the desktops we have made already. So the only thing I have to do now is just boot, press Ctrl F, enter, probably update as well, but we'll do that in the script. I've shut down like that. You can do that in VirtualBox. They stop the system and then you get these different things. No problem at all, just a message. Here you go. So LS, present working directory, or just in home Eric. So when you've installed Arch Merged, and there are a lot of tutorials out there to see how it uh, goes the installation is not easy <laughs> not easy it's very easy it's an, a graphical installation with calamaris we thank the guys from uh, the github calamaris from the team to develop these things because it makes our life easier we have git clone and we're going to get all the scripts there are on the net and ours are at arch merge and we're not windows we're not mac we're linux and this is the ISO created for, or in the case, the name is Arch Merged, in short, EMD. And then you choose to install i3, then you choose to install GNOME, then you in choose to install Openbox. Any of, any of these scripts are available already, lots of desktops and more to follow. So, ls, give me a list of what I have. cd, go, change directory, and see inside what you have. So it's always the same procedure. So once you've installed the desktop, you'll find your way and say, hey, it's just the same routine we do. You install the display manager, the desktop, the sound, the Bluetooth, the printer, the Samba, and so on. Let's go ahead. Well, normally um, we should stick to, to procedure. You are maybe from Asia, you're from Europe, you're from America, and so on. You need to update your mirrors. So a mirror, the command mirror, is actually not a command, it's an alias. It says to Reflector, hey, take a look, what's new, what are the fastest servers around in my world, my, my part of the world. And done, there you are. So now it's time to install 100, and 100 is first going to update everything, which is happening right now. Replace composite proto with extra xorg proto. So Okay, I suppose so. So if you don't know, just follow the hint that says there, just press enter or say yes uh, and follow along. Replace damage proto with extra xorg proto. I say yes again. So enter this time. Yes, that's true. There was an update coming on on Arch Merge as well. So we say yes and follow the advice that they give us. And there you go. All the updates are first coming in before we install anything really. So that's a Linux update. The kernel is called Linux and the Linux dash LTS is the long term support. So both of them are available. So if you run into problems with the newer kernel, you can always try out if the Linux dash LTS fixes things for you. All right, this is GNOME. You see all these elements, GNOME shell extension, GNOME system monitor, GNOME backgrounds, events, EGM, and so on. So this is this is really enter, enter, default all. And yes, number one is a default. That sounds about right. KDE is not what we're having. So yeah, sure, number one, this is GNOME. And there you go. We have decided to install all these things. And we wait and maybe a good time to pause to make the video a bit smaller. Okay, installation is done. 
Now, in the meantime, I saw these confirmations of GNOME. And what, I, what did I do? I updated already our GitHub. So the GitHub has changed. Anytime you see fit when you have the time, you say, hey, has Eric changed something on the GitHub? Then you say git pull. And then you get the latest, the newest information. And indeed, I did change number 100. You see a 2 and a plus and a minus. Meaning I changed the file so that next time GNOME will just be installed and it won't do an enter, enter or yes, yes there. So that's fixed. Alas, what do we have? Sound. Next up is sound. Remember, we're making this in a virtual machine, so it's not, well, it's, it's, it's necessary, it's not necessary, it's just testing here. And 130 is on install printers. But rest assured, we've installed it several times on SSDs and been working for weeks, a week more or less, on GNOME, which is awesome. So, arrow up, so you know the last thing you did was 130, oops, 140. If you want Samba or not, and, and, and you install these things whether you want them or not. If you don't want a printer on your Linux system, don't install 130. If you don't want to share folders to, with other people in your network at home, don't install Samba because that's what it is. You have something on your computer and you wanted to share it to somebody else. I'm just adding myself as user and give it a password. And we'll pause the video here again because this takes a while as well. Okay, that's finished. So the last one was 140 and 150 is the next one, which is looking around, see if I can find my Windows computers, my Mac computers, and of course, the next computers. So next up, if you don't know anymore, LS. So 200 is going to install a lot of software and it's up to you to decide if you want it or not. So let's, let's take a look at uh, Arch Merge on the other end. And let's close everything a little bit up. So here it is. So everything that you want or do not want, if you do not want it, just put a hashtag in front of it. Don't start deleting it. You never know when it might come in handy. You say, oh, I'm gonna try it. And make a selection of what you want and you don't want. So I've made that for you in the meantime, meaning there is already a calculator in GNOME. So I said, okay, one calculator is enough and so on. So you decide what you have or what you don't want to have. And that's uh, the power, I think, in Arch Merged. We don't give you an ISO of GNOME, so we could, we could make an Arch Merge GNOME, you know, um, but this, one, it's a lot of work, two, we're a small team, and three, you don't have the flexibility, the freedom, and that's my that's holding me back really because we have here scripts and scripts can just be edited and changed and you put in there what you want and get all everything out that you don't want to install and you have a actually pretty clean installation and that's the goal of arch merged a base installation it's not as base as phase four mind you but it is rather minimal and basic and then you install the software you want and um that's that. Well, let's wait for this to finish. When I said finish, it was finishing. <laughs> That's how it goes. So, last one was 200. LS, 200. Next up, uh -huh, 300. So, you see maybe these names. Um, let's present already. You see these names, it says sometimes AUR. So, there are two different kind of um, ways to install applications and one is coming from the standard let's call it the standard repos of arch linux and the other are from the arch user repository now the arch user repository is a um, way to install applications on our system okay this uh, aur is maintained by you and me users just linux users fans of linux and uh, want to include their software on arch linux so they make these package builds 
okay and a package builds is nothing more than saying this is my recipe to make an application on arch it says take that application put it in user bin take that application put it in user share i don't know where where and and so on so these package builds are coming from all over the world meaning it's coming from debian linux it's coming from rpm red hat it's coming from zips it's coming to rgz it's coming from github it's coming from everywhere so mind you it's not part of arch linux as such and it's not part as of arch merge as such it's just an a way as a catalog of all interesting applications that you can install in your system and it's maintained by a person and so updates come along and it might take a while two three days maybe a week to update these recipes called package builds so be patient if you have these errors on the AUR packages because of well you know now what where they're coming from all right so we wait for all these packages to install they are coming from all of the way this for instance is coming from a tar bz2 as you can see extracting sublime text and so on so all these sources are being downloaded and extracted and built and so on and so on all right let's just wait for everything to finish okay scripts are done which script number 300 so ls Next up is number 400, which is going to be Arch Linux repo, but distro specific. So stuff that we need on GNOME and not on other desktop environments. That's our intention to keep it a little bit divided, but not always the case. We try. So number 500, AUR. So things that are coming from the Arch user repository, but again, are then specific to this one. And yet it's just popping up here we need yet for our conkeys that's why uh, we install yet okay the script has uh, finished as well so 500 is done 600 is um, actually coming from arch merge so number 600 if you check these names you see all these packages coming in from the arch merge repo so this is our rolling release package that we are getting in so wallpapers and stuff like that but stuff that we don't need like for open box and so on will not be installed so it's a hand-picked selection of what we need on gnome so right up is number 700 if you don't want these fonts that's just fine by me just extra fonts to say look i'm not gonna take noto or anything different so a different way to show because fonts are actually quite important it breaks or makes a system 800 auto login well if you say i just want to power up my machine and don't want to end up with this login screen and when it tests if i still know the password then it's this one so it's gonna ask what's your name what's your login name okay mine is eric and password and everything is now fixed you can we can auto login and we're gonna go straight to gnome when we boot the last thing is the microscode thing there is still this microcode thing going around i think um well so we just run it doesn't matter on, on virtual box there's no issue in virtual box but just run it and that's it that's this so next up is going to get out of this so everything is installed and we want to reboot and see what we do have now already and well yeah protocol or error that's that's uh, a new error we got from systemd i think it is anyway so we reboot and we did not install the personal folder so i'm keeping that for another video but this is what we get after installation welcome to variety continue blah 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 no thank you and then change wallpaper and startup i like favorites out fetched out user share backgrounds out uh, well because i'm tired of my own wallpaper so these are the wallpapers of um, arch merge uh, your problem for you is it's maybe new so we can keep it on but i'm gonna say nope i've seen them all i've selected them all so the only thing i want actually is the one from desktopper so random wallpapers from desktopper.co i can say well 
make it a bit faster <laughs> because I have just one choice now. So um, one every minute is going to download something and then I will the maximum is 500 megabytes, which is nothing really. And for the rest, you can say this one are big at least 80% of the screen resolution. So you don't get these well bad pictures. And so that's it basically. There you go. You have now GNOME and GNOME is available. We don't have, we did not team it. We do not tweak it. There are already a lot of applications installed, but this is it. The GNOME is installed and let's have fun tweaking it in the next video.